Guys, we have some massive news today in the AI space. OpenAI actually released ChatGPT Operator. This is game changing. This is basically OpenAI's product that allows ChatGPT to not only be more interactive, but you could actually perform actions with Operator. I'm so excited to go over and test this out. I purchased the ChatGPT Pro subscription for $200 per month just so I could showcase it to you guys. You don't have to pay the money in order to test it. However, I don't have access to it yet. I should have access in the next few hours. I will be making a video shortly on me testing it out myself so you guys could see and not have to spend the money to do so yourself. But in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the top use cases I've seen on Twitter of people who got early access to ChatGPT Operator so you guys can understand what it is and the capabilities that it actually has because this is absolutely crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to Twitter here. So this is Rowan Chung. Go ahead, follow him on Twitter. He's got an amazing account, covers all the AI news, but um, I really like this thread he broke down. So it looks like he got early access to ChatGPT Operator. I'm just gonna read off this tweet and go over the things that he kind of noticed. It's OpenAI's new AI agent that autonomously takes action across the web on your behalf. So here's the nine most impressive use cases he's tried. Number one, ordering dinner ingredients based on a picture in a recipe. So no longer can you just ask ChatGPT for a recipe and it gives you a list. You could then ask it to shop for the actual ingredients and buy it. That's the power of operator and these AI agents. All right, so it looks like what it's doing is um, it's filling up a cart. He asked it to fill up a cart with these ingredients. Obviously this video is very sped up. So what it does is it opens a new browser here that's actually deployed on the cloud. So it's not like operating in your Google Chrome and it's actually looking up Walmart, all these different ingredients. As you can see, it's sort searching through the website and it's actually clicking on all of the ingredients all of the ingredients you need and adding it to the cart. It's actually adding these to the cart here and then let's scroll. It's gonna do that for all the ingredients and now we have a full cart, $40.60, of every single ingredient that was on that list that ChatGPT actually created. There's the first use case, that is awesome. No longer do you need to search for your own groceries, you could use ChatGPT operator to order it for you. Number two, planning a weekend trip on hidden gems off Reddit with your budget and interests. Basically what he's asking is, he's asking ChatGPT operator to plan a weekend trip to Austria based on hidden gems off of Reddit. He explains his starting point, his budget, et cetera, and that he loves the outdoors. What it's gonna do now is gonna search Reddit, which this is a a great point here. So some some apps or some uh, websites are blocked by ChatGPT operator at, at this point in time. So you can't use YouTube, for example, for whatever reason. And same with Reddit. So what it did is it actually identified that that it can't use Reddit, and it went to Bing actually, and it is searching here now because it identified that obviously you can't search on Reddit. But this is the next best, next best option is just to search on Bing. And you can see what it's doing is it's coming up with all of these different hidden gems, doing kind of research here. And now it's actually adding this to a list of all of these places that he should travel to based on his specifications for travel. So that's a pretty interesting one. Um, obviously it was just searching the internet there. Number three, a crypto investment research based on tokens that are actually worth looking into. It looks like ChatGPT operator got hit with a, are you human captcha? Um, and then pinged him to control to confirm it. So this is something to mention. So ChatGPT operator, there's kind of a hands-on feature where if it hits a roadblock, you could actually take over whatever it is that it is doing um, and the task is performing. So you can see it's going to the operator browser. It's actually searching up for new meme tokens. And right here, you run into the CAPTCHA and it's prompting him that he needs to take control so he could then go ahead and do the CAPTCHA himself. And again, it's just giving, providing a list of all these different tools here um, or all these different AI tokens, which is pretty cool. Number four, booking a one-way flight from Zurich to Vienna using the booking integration. All right, so let's take a look at this workflow here. Looks like it goes to booking.com. It searches that in the web browser. It's actually looking up flights from Zurich to Vienna and it's selecting the date that he actually provided ChatGPT with. Basically what it did here is it mapped out all of the different options. So you could see that Swiss, um, Swiss Airlines is a direct flight, but it is $424. It says what the departure time is, the arrival time and the total duration. Air Serbia, it's $145, but it's 10 hours and 30 minutes. So it breaks all this down. ChatGPT asks, would you like to proceed with booking any of these flights? And then, uh, he responds and says, yes, book the third flight. And it's actually gonna go through, um, select this trip and then try to book it for him. 
Um, it looks like he ran into some issues where it didn't necessarily like pay. You obviously need to input your own credit card information. So then you could just take over and then input that information yourself and it will book the um, trip automatically. But that's really cool. I hate coordinating flights. I actually just was in Thailand and it was the biggest pain in my life. I could have used ChatGPT to find the cheapest and most time efficient route for me. I would have done that. But operator was not available two weeks ago. All right, so I'm not gonna go over any more of these use cases that Rowan actually found, but basically he said he was very impressed by the research preview of Operator. Uh, he loves that it could do tasks for me as I do other work and simply ping me when it needs me to take over. So that is something that we'll probably run into. It probably can't handle all of these complex tasks at the point in time. This is in preview mode, but it will ping you when you need to take over. So it could handle a lot of that like background work that you know you don't you didn't necessarily have to do but when it needs you to do something all you need to do is just take over and then hand it back off to ChatGPT operator so this is pretty awesome guys okay so they are rolling this out right now to pro users so you have to be paying 200 dollars a month to actually have access to this but guys this is a live look into the next steps we're going in the world of ai having ai agents that could perform tasks for us so Guys, if you wanna learn how you could actually leverage these new technologies and build AI agents that work for you, this channel is perfect for that. This is AI for non-techies. I explain AI for non-technical per for non-technical people. I'm a non-technical person, but I'm using AI every day to become more pr productive, more efficient, and build my business. So if that sounds right for you, make sure to subscribe. But guys, 2025 is gonna be the year of AI agents, and I'm so excited to be covering this on this channel and seeing some amazing things that I could build and showcase for you guys. So with that being said, tune into my next video where I actually will be testing this out myself so you don't have to pay and test it yourself. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.